Welcome to Scientific Lee. Today we're going to be using the, uh, the equipment I purchased. I've made myself a nice weight room so uh, we're going to be using it. So we're just going to be doing biceps and triceps today and uh, we'll see how things go. There's a camera on here. Over there? Alright, so you're over there. Hey, and you're over there. Hey, all right, so we're gonna do, uh, what are we gonna do first? Mm -hmm. We're gonna do some pull downs for triceps, and then we're gonna do some pull ups, and then we're gonna move on to the barbells and see how it feels. All right, not as good as it thinks. All right, so what we've got here, we've got just 50 pounds on there. I like to start out with pull downs and uh, shoulder stretches. Uh, I have dodgy shoulders. They were destroyed by tiling. 20 years of tiling will uh, smash your shoulders to bits. I've had five exploded discs in my back. I have a crushed nerve root there right now. So this is why I like to start with pushing things rather than pulling things. So we're just going to do probably three sets of 10 and uh, onto failure so you know you're using your muscles. So 50 pounds. to start. <coughs> I don't normally wear gloves <coughs> but the handle things for the pull-up bar the handles don't spin one of them spins but they do not both spin so unfortunately I'll put these on otherwise I'll rip my hands to this Let's take up the slack Sweat. Heat is off. Open the window a little bit. We get me back in here. There we go. So after this, we'll move on to curls, hammer curls, and a couple of a couple of those. Uh, mainly because I've only got 35 pound dumbbells. A little bit heavier than I normally use. Because <sighs> uh, I left all my other gear with my son. 10s, 20s, 30s. I think he's got some 45s, but we don't really use them. So I'm stuck with the 35s for now. Try to go and buy some. They're like 120, 130, and 110. Just, just one of each, so I didn't bother with that. All right, round two. 
Now I like to do the push downs because it also involves your stomach because you've got to keep forward. All right, so we'll do between 10 and 14. Let's go. Too hard. Oh, these things can get a oh, big long stretch and a pull to the eyeball. Oh. Stretching, hanging. One of the best things that you can do for your shoulders. I wore out all the cartilage. They said it wouldn't grow back. Uh, I've been working out for four years. I weigh 160 pounds. And I'm still yet to do legs, because I'm 55, same age as Mike O'Hearn, and I don't look like Mike O'Hearn. <laughs> <sighs> but you never know. But uh, my upper body from here up, I'm happy with. Got some look handles which means the calorie deficit is needed, or do some running. So the leg work will get rid of the fat because I won't change my diet, but my exercise will increase so my energy output will be needed more. So the deficit of calories should get rid of the love handles and this little spare tire thing I've got going out the front, and it'll make my legs bigger. So either way, it works out in the end. fan of pull down weights, I'm not a fan of pull up weights. For biceps I much prefer pulling or using using dumbbells. They are much easier to use because that's only 50 pounds and it feels like 70. So I'm going to switch to 35 pound dumbbells but doing one at a time and for some strange reason it feels easier than using the pull-up. I don't know if it's the resistance from the cable, but that feels a lot heavier than 50 pounds. And 50 pounds for the push-downs, I normally have it at 70 for the push-downs anyway. So we will throw on some more. Bring that up. One got there, 25. Take that 10. These are, I've got hay jacks. Bumpers, bumper plates. They're made out of rubber. I don't know if they've got metal in them, they probably have, but they're made out of rubber so they're not loud. And yes, I know I need some spring clamps for the weights, especially for the barbell. Now there isn't really room here for me to tip the bar if I put too much weight on, but that's why I've always got 
my rail bars up just in case it's too heavy. Everything has been padded out with this white stuff, foam, because I'm in an apartment and you can't be too loud. So it's that two sets. So we've got 70 pounds on the push down now, and then I'll be picking up the 35s, and we'll just do alternates for at least 10 each arm, and then we'll go to, and we'll get some hammer curls, and I'll, I'll just about do it. I'll give myself a few more seconds. I'm 55. Give me a break. <coughs> All right. Last heavy set to failure. Oh, feel the stretch. Oh. 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 The apartment's a little warm. Curtains open, but I don't want too much crazy air getting in. J008. Can't remember how much it costs, got it online. Seems to be okay. This is fun. I like the fact you don't have to change the weights when you change over from pulling down to pulling up. You don't need to change anything. It's all interlinked here. The barbells are calling. Oh, almost empty. Now all you young men out there <coughs> should be doing, if you can't afford weights, you should be doing push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, squats, all things that you can just use your body weight with. Hopefully when you're 55, you can afford to buy one of these as well. But in the meantime, doors, door frames, floors, it's all good. But in this day and age, if you don't want trouble walking around with some muscles, and you can't really tell on these phones, mainly because women use these phones to look thin, so this isn't really displaying what I look like at all. Well, that's almost as big as my face, but you can't tell. So, a couple of friends say that if I had some tribal tattoos, I would look intimidating. But uh, you can't really tell on here. Yeah, gotta make things look small. I look bigger in person. So I'm told. <sighs> All right, 65s, 35s. So, I'm not a big fan of the 35s. You lost me again. There we go. Key following, key following. Maybe it's one of better than that. Nope, don't think so. So, now we've got 35 pounders. So we're gonna go for 10 of each, alternating.
Take this off now. And I'm going to do more pull downs instead of them. Yeah. Certainly is some heavy stuff. But if you want to build muscle, you have to put strain on your body. Same way if you want to do clever mathematics, you have to practice doing equations. So if you want to be able to lift 200 pounds, you need to be able to lift your own body weight several times. If you want to lift something 250 pounds once. So yeah, you've got to put a strain and resistance on your body. Being 55, I understand how important that's going to be. 20 years from now, assuming we're all still here. So, Jesus was a big man. He was a carpenter. And if he was a carpenter, that means he's in shape. So, people of the Bible were in shape. Not all of them. You know, you've got Moses. Every person who's a farmer, in any way, is always jacked, and they're not even so jacked, they're all fucking strong. All farmers are strong. So anybody in the Bible that you heard about herding, doing any kind of animal stuff, because you've got to pick one up to keep it out of a hole. If it falls into a hole, you've got to pick that animal out. So anybody that looked after animals, jacked. Moses then killed the Pharaoh. He must have been out to handle himself in a fight. You got Samuel, you got Ezekiel, some other prophets are dead skinny, so you imagine. Um, then you have Job, whose strength of spirit mastered his lack of physical ability. He was able to just bear it. And that's what a lot of men just can't do today. They can't bear things, they can't bear to work out, they can't bear emotional drama, they can't bear going to work. But if you follow God, you should find out that you need discipline. Discipline is prime. It means you do things when you don't want to do them. I'm 55, you think I want to do this? When I was 20, I was twice this size. I used to be a manual labourer, block paving. Did it for two years. And when, you chis when you're shifting 20 tonnes of sand and 20 tonnes of blocks in a day, you get jacked. And in two years, yeah, I was twice this size. I was embarrassed to wear tight shirts because I thought it looked stupid, like some roid rage idiot. I was probably about as big as uh, Alex Leonar Leonardis. Like watching him. Like watching Alex Leonardis. I watch Greg do set, but half the time it's full of drama. Uh, and every other influencer on there with their weight training. I'm not here to do any influencing with it. I'm just saying. If you want to put on some muscles, you've got to put in the work. So, all right, I've had my break, so we'll get on to here again. Do some push downs. Yeah, that's looking like the one, you're still good. Oh, yeah, my arms are on my shot after three of them. Biceps are just wrecked and pumped. No way I was going to finish that set, but seven for the final set. I think he's doing okay. And now my arms are like, I'm going to be knocking cups of tea over and all sorts with big stumbly hands. Bible, half of them were jacked, 
half of them not so much because God gives you the strength when you need it whether you're a strong man or a weak man and most men that people of this age would deem weak in the Bible actually have strong wills stronger than anybody you know and then you come to Jesus <laughs> who after being beaten from three o'clock in the morning till six in the morning or nine, six in the morning or nine in the morning, come on. They beat him for several hours, pulled out his beard, stuffed spikes on his head, put bags on him and punched him and said, who hit you? So after several hours of that, he then went before the crowds and they beckoned for him to be scourged and killed. They let go of a murderer so I'm sure emotionally that's killing him, that the people he came to save are now disowning him in favour of releasing a murderer. <sighs> then they ripped his body to shreds with big hooky things on the ends of whips for quite some time, probably about 20 minutes, minimum 20 minutes. Then they turned him over and they did the same with his back. Then they made him pick up a massive lump of wood, probably weighing at least... Well, just one, one of them logs like that probably weighs 120 pounds. So an eight foot piece would probably weigh at least 150, 170 pounds. And if it was a cross, then you're probably looking at 200 or more pounds that somebody had to drag. After being cut to bits, drag it, I think it's a quarter of a mile, might be longer, but let's just say it's a quarter of a mile. A quarter of a mile up to where they then nailed him to it and he still didn't fucking die. And then he sat there for three hours until all the blood drained out of him, literally. And that's when he died. So he didn't die from being sick and old or weak. He died because he didn't have enough blood left to pump around his own body due to all those leaking out of him. That strength. So one day you might be beaten for your beliefs, put in prison for your beliefs. At least look like you can take care of yourself. Because one day you might have to help somebody else. You might have to pick somebody else up. One of your loved ones. And you want to be able to just go. Damn it. Damn it. I'm back in. And you might just need to do that with them. It might be a child of 70 pounds. Or it might be a woman of 125 pounds. You ladies that are over 150 pounds. <laughs> you better pull yourself up. Men aren't equipped to pick up 150 pounds in this day and age. <laughs> All right, more dumbbells. So we'll do one more set for the biceps, and then we're going to move on and do two sets for the brachialis. If that's the wrong one, because yeah. everything's just about shut now. And the uh, hammer kills that I'm going to do won't be full ones because these are too heavy. Still losing me again. There we go. This camera's, that's yeah, okay, it's the Osmo holder thing. You put it in tracking mode, follows me about. I think it's a little too shaky to have it on 9 by 16, but we'll see. Oh! Do I have enough energy for some hammer kills? If Jesus can walk up that hill. I can do 10 hammer kills. Twice. We're going to do it twice. Oh, yeah, so I can't oh, just, I can just touch my shoulder, which means we've got a right pump on, 
stopping my arm from going backwards. Uh, yeah, I can. Just make it with my finger now. And normally I could put three fingers on there. Just scraping it now. Whew. And then once we hit the brachialis, this will give us some side width and lift the bicep up. Right, and then you should just be left with round pipes of arms. <sighs> no, I'm not doing any more pull downs there, I really just, oh, oh yeah, they are, oh, feeling all jerked. <laughs> so yeah, these are too heavy. These are too heavy really for hammer kills. But we're gonna, we're gonna give it a go. We're coming to the end of the tether now. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, young or old, in this day and age of the poison we're being fed, the water poison that we have to drink, the pharmaceutical country company that would much rather give you a pile of drugs that you have to keep on buying rather than tell you to go and exercise. As I said, in 2012, my shoulders didn't work anymore. I couldn't pick up a bag of potatoes, 10 pound bag of potatoes for two years, but I'd feel like somebody was stabbing me in the shoulders. And just before all that, as I said, five exploded discs. Eventually, I've got a crushed nerve root, which means if I lean back too far about there, somebody's sticking a knife in between the bones. So I have to be careful, but, four years of training without pushing myself, which is why I'm only using 35s and pressing down 70 in the bar. I'll be doing 10, uh, 10 at 135, maybe, 100, no, 125. So two plates plus the bar, 35 pounds. I'll just be doing one plate for 10, and I'll do that three times, and then I'll bump it up to uh, 155, literally my body weight, and I'll put out five of those and do three reps of that. But uh, I could do 180, but that would be a rep max. I'm not gonna bother doing that because I'm here on my own and why do I wanna break my body? So I'm trying to gain the endurance as well as strength. <coughs> so you've gotta be able to do at least 10 reps of something in your set. And then after you've got, to me, this works best for me. Mine works best on volume, but to put the pressure on the volume as it goes higher. So I'll do two sets of bench at 125, then I'll do a set at 135, and then I'll finish with at least two sets of five. So the others were for 10, and then the last two sets, which will be 155, I'll do for two sets of five. Just to get that, just to reckon. <sighs> because, all time natty, uh, I don't have tendon problems, so I don't worry about my tendons tearing, I worry about muscles hurting. Um, and uh, just like shit exploding at the age of 55, but I've never had a tendon problem other than tennis elbow and stuff because my wrists don't like to be pushed out like that and lift, and if you do, try not to grab with your hands. That's what does the tendons in your elbows. Try and lift with your wrists, try and keep your hands loose even though you've got hold of something, and lift with your wrists instead, and just let the bar hang. And that way you won't get tennis elbow and stuff like that, which I've had and discovered 
it's because I was grabbing too hard. So if you don't grab and you just lift, rather than doing that, because that's kind of what you're doing, um, lift as if you're just lifting with your wrists and that should stop any damage. But if you take it slow, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, and get up to 20 reps with 20 pounds, then you know your, your tendons ain't too bad, move up to some 30s. As I say, I'm now up to the 35s, which I'm surprised, because it's the first time I've actually used the 35s in a session, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good. What was I gonna do? Oh, another set of hammer curls, and then we're done. Oh, I'll make sure the camera picks me up. So one last set of hammer curls from failure, which will probably be eight or nine, because it's bloody heavy. camera.